Hi guys, welcome to this uh, introductory uh, video. This video is a response to so many requests I've been receiving from some of you guys asking me to come up with uh, tutorials on how to integrate uh, a lot of projects with the uh, VJS. I just want to jump to a new project that uh, I have implemented using the two frameworks that is the uh, Lava framework in Backend and uh, Vue.js uh, in Floated. So in these uh, projects, my aim is to take you through how to implement the main four uh, operations that is a uh, crude operation, creates, uh, lead, updates, and uh, and deletes, and I just want to start with the first operation that is the add operation, which is a create operation. So on the screen, there's a add button for adding product to the system. I just click it. Uh, there's a, a pop-up form for filling the product details. And before I fill the form, I just want to inspect uh, my projects. There are some things that we are going to run. We are going to run how to use a console, how to use a network to listen to the response, like this response we are getting from here. I'm going to explain uh, what are these uh, response. And then from there, we are going to run uh, Vue.js, how to listen uh, from our form. And uh, that's what I want us to learn now. So just go to the product, then I go to the form. And then from there, we have our we have our parameters from the form. So in my form, I have applied the V form. We are going to run when we'll be implementing the uh, crude operation, how to use a V form in a Laravel projects or rather in the uh, view components. So we are going to install this one in our coming video. So here on the view components you already see we have a product name we have the vendor email a vendor name vendor phone and uh, we have a id and image so when i start filling this form let's say i say the vendor name will be samsung you'll find that it have automatically filled here Let's say email will be it and uh, samsung.com. It's updating automatically here. So those are the things that we are going to run on how to listen uh, from your form. Then uh, I continue filling the form. Want to select the image for the products? I can select uh, images. Then, when I submit the form, you notice that uh, there's a notification here. You can see added successfully. We are going to run on how to implement uh, suite alerts uh, in our projects. So, there are many things that um, we are going to learn. In each and every uh, operation, we are going to learn how to leverage on these uh, uh, suite alerts components in our projects. We have already added the new uh, product in our system, and uh, we are also going to learn on how to validate our information. For example, uh, whether email and phone number is the are unique, so we are going to learn how to validate our details and if i submit the same information you receive a validation message as you can see the email is already taken and also the phone number is already taken we're going to run on how to validate the information on the bucket and pass this validation message down to the client or rather to the system user uh, something that I will also learn uh, is uh, you see on the record here, you can close this guy. 
on our record here we have the latest record uh, id3 so if add a new record i'll just change the uh, the email i say uh, def and uh, samsung.com then from there i change the phone number you'll find that it automatically updates our um, view components so if i submit be very keen and check we'll have the record uh, for here the latest record i've added so now as you can see we have um, it have automatically updated uh, our table so we are going to learn how to listen the database stage at the same time automatically update uh, our view components so in the state operations those are some of the concepts of the and technologies that uh, we are going to learn the other operation is a uh, lead operation we are going to run how to retrieve information from the database and present that information in the view components table as you can see from uh, this table we have a list of uh, products there are four of them they are coming from the database uh, and we're going to go and learn how to fetch information from backend the third operation is update information update uh, operation so once i click um, uh, edit button we get a pop-up form which have already populated the information for that product and uh, if i change for example i want to update the product description check here it will automatically updates and uh, update the database at the same time update the the view component table so just want to update you see it have already updated we now we have a brand new we don't have the name as it was uh, before then uh, something that uh, something else that we're going to run here i don't know whether you have noted uh, you see this pop-up form if i click and button here we are getting a pop-up form if i close it and i click uh, edit uh, button we are getting the same uh, pop-up form so i'll take you and teach you how to use one form for both operations if you're going to add use the same form if you're going to edit use the same form so that's a, that's a unique concept that you are going to run in this uh, operation the last operation is a uh, delete operation you see for example if you you didn't want to delete this record and accidentally you click delete it will not delete the record it have to they have to ask you if you really want to do so if you want to delete say yes delete it it will automatically delete that record but if you cancel it won't, it won't not uh, it won't uh, uh, delete uh, that record so we are going to run on how to apply the switch alerts uh, confirmation uh, uh, feature on how to confirm if the person want to delete or you don't want to delete so those are some of the concepts that we are going to run on the floated using uh, vjs at backend we are going to run on how to apply api resources because in this project we are going to use uh, apis and uh, our apis are here we are going to run how to use a uh, one add points for four operations so we are calling these uh, add points to execute the four operations that uh, we have covered them um, uh, previously so we are going to run on how to use a uh, one add point for four operations using the api resource and uh, this is what uh, we are going to use the uh, want to do that one uh, let's go to resource and javascript javascript components and then the products so this is the products of view components 
means the endpoint that I'm using is the same to all uh, operations. To all operations. To all operations. So what is the difference? What is make that uh, to be unique? To all operation. Now what is making this uh, endpoint to be unique is uh, uh, this uh, function delete. So in this case we are deleting and then we are calling the, the same endpoints. So here we are posting, we are creating uh, products. So we are using post. Uh, in this case, we are using uh, puts to update our to update our product uh, details. So these are some of the concepts that we are going to run in coming uh, tutorials. So do subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, like and also click a uh, uh, bell button so that you'll be the first person to receive the notification once I upload a, a tutorial or rather a video. So thank you very much for watching this video. Let's meet in the next uh, video.